Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station. Hello, I'm Al Teresa Good Howard with Radio One Charlotte. I'm here today to make an appeal to all that may be hearing, listening, or watching me today. In our communities all over, there is an increase in crime, violence, drug and gang activity. And especially even in my little city of Lancaster, South Carolina, we have certainly been seeing a surge and increase. And I'm here today to say to all of us, to our communities all over, but especially to those of you in the Lancaster, South Carolina area, we want to encourage one another. At this particular time, we want to continue to be alert. We want to continue to believe that there is a change that is coming and we, each one of us, can make the difference. Each one of us can do something, can do more. Each one of us can help make a positive difference in the lives of young people all around us, in the lives of our community. I believe even though with the increase, it can seem as though things are helpless or hopeless. It can seem even among our young people that things are hopeless. And so they may turn to gangs or crime or all other kinds of activities. But I believe each one of us, we can make a difference. So I appeal to all of us, our communities all over, and especially in Lancaster, to be able to reach out to our young people, to again increase our neighborhood watch, increase in looking out for one another and looking out for our neighbors to increase, even within the churches and the church leaders, to increase getting out there, getting involved in the community, to get involved with more of our young people. We are mobilizing, we are coming together. We are standing with one another to say that we are not just gonna sit idly by and just allow the increase and we do nothing. We have to do something. We've got to come together to do more. We've got to come together to look for ways that each one of us can help in our community, in our neighborhoods, with our young people, with our families. I even want to appeal to our young people today and to say that even though things may be going on all around you that you may not understand, you may not know a way out. You may not know any other way. You may not know what options there are other than what you may be involved with today. But we're here to say that we're here for you, that we will even put things together. I believe that even at this particular time, that organizations, we're going to come together. Churches, we come together. Different people in different areas and neighborhoods and have different things going on. We can all come together to talk about the things that are available, to talk about the ideas, to talk about the things that can be done. And each one of us be able to even mobilize into different neighborhoods, if need be, to be able to reach out to our young people and make a difference. A difference can be made, but only if we do something. We are mobilizing even within the churches to have more people praying. We're mobilizing even within the churches to have us come outside of the church doors and to get into the community, to come meet with our neighbors again, to come reach out to our young people again, to reach out to our neighbors, to reach out to the families. There are families that are hurting. There are young people that are hurting. There are people all over and may not know what to do other than what they're doing. So I'm even asking if you have an organization, if you're a leader of a church or part of a church, please send me your information. We are going to try to put all of this information together to have resources available for those who want a better way, who want options who want to know how to find jobs, who want to go to college, who want to know how they can do things differently and live differently than what they may be experiencing today. Even with the crime and the violence and the drug activity and gang activity, if you know something about it, please share that information so that even within our law enforcement, they can do something about some of the things that are taking place. They can't do a lot if we don't help them. 
all of us can do more. All of us can be able to help one another if we're willing to take the stand and to get together to do what is needful. I'm here to say, if need be, I'll be a liaison between the church, the community, the law enforcement, whatever is needful to be able to bring this resource together so that we can share the information together, that we can be able to do something to make a difference. On this Saturday, we're going to be meeting over at our church, the Masters Next Dimension Church at 726 South Main Street in Lancaster. Leaders, churches, organizations come together so that we can discuss some of the things that you may be thinking, some of the things you may be feeling, and some of the ideas that you may have that we can all begin to know what's going on in our community and where we can even better help one another and help our young people. But please, we've got to stop the killing. We've got to stop hurting one another because even in Lancaster, as small as it is, all of us are connected in some way and the hurt is continuing. And each family along the way is have more and more and more hurt and is starting now to even affect your own families because Lancaster being as small as it is, somebody knows someone who knows someone who's connected to you or your family. And if it's not for you, think about your own family, think about your loved ones, Think about your friends. Think about the people around you and know that people are hurting and we don't have to keep hurting one another. We don't have to keep killing one another. We don't have to keep beefing with one another because one may live in this area or be in this gang. We understand you may want to be connected, but you don't have to hurt someone. You don't have to kill one another. You don't have to keep causing more hurt for another family, another neighborhood, another person who you may love as well. I know we have just experienced and came through the last three, four weeks with my own adopted grandson who was missing and then found dead, only 22 years of age. We are still in an investigation and we're saying that we're here even for the hurting families to be able to be encouragement, to be able to help one another through the process of the grief, the hurt, the healing that is needful. We're asking even the churches and intercessors to be continuing to lift up the family members that are hurting. And we want you to know that we are praying for you as well. And us going through this process also, we understand a little bit more now than even what we had before all that is needful for all of us to come together and help one another, help with the healing, help with the answers, help give solutions, help give options for our young people, help change the mindsets because we've got to change our mind and our way of thinking and our way of seeing. Young people, you've got to know that your life is precious, that you are valuable, that you've got so much potential and we're all here as a community to say all of us are willing to help do something to be able to help you walk out and live a better life and a better future and a better and a greater community. If you would like to reach me, if your church, your organization would like to share your information, would like to be at our meeting that we're going to have on this Saturday at one o'clock, please send your information to me at Masters Ministry at gmail.com. But also my information will be made available on our Facebook, on the websites at the radio station. And if you have solutions, if you are even a former gang member or a former whatever it is that feel that you may want to do something to help or you're doing some things that we may not be aware of, we need everyone. Everyone. We need everyone to help be a help and solution for our young people and for our community. So again, please get in contact with me. Let me know what you're doing so that we can all know what each other are doing and maybe we'll be able to make a difference together. Thank you and please share this. 
Praise 100.9, Charlotte's Inspiration Station.